This is the Roman Show. It was really like old school trying to just show everybody what it should be. Um, and it just takes a really long time to do that. Um, but being the primary songwriter of the band, you know, I, I would always come in just with a whole song, just like done. And then I would try to just basically get everybody to play the right part. Um, and then uh, later on, you know, I started to get into like Pro Tools and computer stuff and, you know, home studio stuff. And it just made it easier to just kind of lay everything out, um, at least for the song. And then, real, and then it's like an evolution. And then, like, all I would have to do um, is get the drummer to play the right thing. And then later on <coughs> after that, I started to get decent enough at programming drums um, and actually programming beat for beat, not just using loops, but actually drawing in the beats and all the ghost notes and stuff. So that made it e that much more, um, you know, uh, refined of like a demo of like a starting point. So um, I'm able to just kind of really give what the song is going to be about like in the 90 percentile instead of like with just the music, which is, you know, then you have to kind of go and figure out the drums and stuff. But I lay down all the vocals, I lay down all the harmonies on the demos. The demos are probably like 95 to 98 percent, sometimes 100 percent of what the actual song is going to be in the end. And then, um, you know, we I just give it to these guys and they all perform great on it. And um, these guys are singing on the newest album and that's something that we've never had before because I've always had to do my own background vocals because the band's never had any other people that could sing. Um, so Keith and Aaron are singing um, all of the background vocals on uh, Dark Before Dawn, which is our fifth album coming out soon, June. And um, overall, um, Jason and I have um, written in the past too, and um, you know, overall everybody has just such a much better chemistry as far as our writing styles and the, the things that we like and the things that we think suck. Because like, it, it helps when you think the same things suck because then you don't do stuff that sucks because <laughs> you all think that it sucks. <laughs> so, That's definitely helpful. So it really helps. So it doesn't really matter if we have a lot of things in common as long as we think the same things suck. Well, my style is the only one that counts. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sean's style is the only one that counts. The only one that counts. But, um, <laughs> but Jason and I have written really well uh, in the past on Dear Agony. We wrote some stuff, which is our, our fourth album. And, and on Red, his previous band, I wrote like a song with them. So it was pretty good. I mean, it's always had been a really um, organic, like, we don't even have to try. It's just like very like minded. Whereas in the past, I'd kind of, I'd, I'd kind of have to try to find a way to make it work. Whereas now, I don't even have to try to make it work. It just works. Why failure? Why did you guys decide to release that single out of all the rest of the singles you have in your album? Um, well, I think that's a collaborative like effort. Like um, we give all of the songs to uh, a, a lot of people, and we just because as the band, I mean, you're so close to it. You want like an outside opinion on it so we just basically uh, handed off the whole album to a lot of people um, label people people that aren't people that are like kind of I guess radio type people and um, they just they all came back with failures being something that would be a good uh, single to kind of showcase what the band can do now and that and, and really overall the album Sounds like classic Breaking Benjamin hasn't really changed, but I think that song in particular is a, is a good way to start to let fans know that the band is what it always had been, just even better, more refined, and, and you know we try to get better with each album. So that's 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 the truth of how that sort of came to be. Plus, there's a great message in it, and that it is okay to fail, and we have this whole thing is it's okay to fail, and so. You know, we're just enjoying all the support, we're enjoying the single, and it's doing okay for us, it's doing well, so we're just really ecstatic that we went with that, and um, there's plenty more to come, so. So how have you managed to try to get this group together? I mean, it's, it's been a lot of... Is, it, is this where we do I mean, it if it's both? okay with you. <laughs> how, how, you how do you try to get everything together? You've been through a lot, but to get all these guys together and keep breaking Benjamin together, how has that been a challenge, and how have you rallied up the troops? 
Well, I mean, I'm the I'm I kind of obviously you know the band's name Breaking Benjamin, and so that's obviously formed from my name. And so I had the band name for a long time. I wrote the music for the band, and I have the band, so it's kind of like always been that. And I've just tried to play with the best people that I could play with. And sometimes it's not the perfect fit, but it works. And sometimes it is the perfect fit, and it works. And that's where we're at right now. And, you know, it's just there was a lot of shady stuff that happened, and I had to. I was put in a position that I had to act the way I had to act, hit and just roll over and let people kind of basically steal. Um, or make decisions about songs that I wrote because I wouldn't do that to anybody else. I certainly wouldn't um, <clears throat> give the okay to do anything with anybody else's song except my own. And so, um, you know, I was just kind of backed into a corner of uh, really with no choice. And justice prevailed and I'm able to continue what I started. So if, we, if we're going to do it, let's do it right. And I got these great guys, and I just one by one, um, you know, called them and talked to them, and, and um, everything. The timing was great, and everything worked out, and we're all here playing today. So it's a good time. It was all good. This is the Roman Show.